Hey y'all. It's Saturday. December. December. It's Saturday. What is this month? February the 6th. Oh, my stomach hurt. We at the church. Are you in there? Wait. We at the church as always. We at the church as always. Mary Kay getting ready to go for practice. I'm on this compter getting ready to do some work. Computer. Say good morning, good afternoon, good night. Thank you for coming. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming good night. Mm -hmm. Gotta save my voice. <coughs> Girl, bye. <coughs> you, if that's what you're gonna do, you could really save it. <laughs> it's chilly in here. It is. Okay, leave me there. All right, y'all. I just wanted to say hello. I got some stuff to do. All right. Be you Don't rush me. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Lisa, and today is Sunday. It's Super Bowl Sunday to be exact. And um, I just wanted to come on and say hello. I'm getting ready for church. It is about 9 o'clock, 9.20, and um, I'm almost done. My process church starts at 11, so I'm, I'm real good. I've showered, I'm clean, I'm face halfway done. I think I'm going to be on time today. How about I? <laughs> Felt that in my spirit. Thank you. I think I'm going to be on time. So I'm getting ready to go. I wanted to say hi because I have been slacking like this weekend and yeah, I didn't really do much. It was really laid back and a couple of things that I did, I did not vlog and like today is Super Bowl. I'm supposed to be going to a Super Bowl party. I don't think I'm going to vlog there as well. I don't know, um, but I really don't feel like the whole yelling and screaming of the Super Bowl with guys around. Like I'm really ready to do an anti-Super Bowl party and tune into Lifetime or something, you know, you know, um, but uh, we'll see where it goes because if my team was playing, which is the New York Giants, I'm sad to say because they are a hot mess at this moment or this season, they were a hot mess. So if my team was playing though, I would really, really be into it. Um, even if the Eagles were playing because they're, it's so close to home, although I, I can't stand the Eagles, I would be watching. Um, so yeah, guys. Besides that, that's about it. Um, I'm going to do some editing today. I am because I'm starting to fall back behind and I don't like that. So you guys will probably see three vlogs in one from, from the weekend because it was really short. But I'm not going to make it long. I'm trying my best now. I talk a lot. Everybody always tell me that, but now I really know. And I really want to um, be able to, you know not bore the heck out of you guys and I want to um you know keep the vlogs coming I want to share things that really matter to me and I don't want to just you know I don't know I don't know how people condense their entire day into like 10 to 15 minutes like this is too much like got this is another job okay and I can't So, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Didn't forget you guys. I also did a um a video which has already been posted um, for Valentine's Day makeup. I'm planning on doing maybe another one. I don't know. It's nothing too extravagant like y'all know. If y'all know me, I don't do all that piling up stuff. I don't want my man to be like, you know, I'm all for makeup. Of course, I love it. But... Although I don't have a man, so what I'm talking about. But, you know, I don't want to be so unrecognizable without makeup. I don't want it to be like, damn, that's the same chick? Yeah, so I keep it easy. I keep a nice, sweet beat. I feel like I pretty much look the same. And I also, you know, it's just enhancements. But I also um, go out a lot without makeup. So it's not like some something that people would be like um, so shocked when they see me. Which is why a lot of girls, you may see who have, are self-conscious and never go out without makeup because they're just so used to piling so much on their face that they know it's a big drastic change to not have it. But, okay, Sarah, Sarah, right? Yeah, teach is on, I don't care. But as for me in my house, we gonna keep a sweet beat. Ha! Hallelujah. Y'all, I need to get to church, I'm feeling it. <laughs> mm mm mm. Do I have anything else to talk about? I don't know. I might vlog a little bit from church. Who knows? I'm not sure. One of my kids that um, 
And so way at school at college texted me last night to let me know she'd be in church. So we'll probably hang out for a little bit. But y'all know, I love when my babies reach out to me because they definitely don't have to. So I appreciate the fact that they do and you know, that we cool like that. Like there is a level of respect, but there's also a level of comfortability, comf hmm. a level of respect, but there's also a level of um, relatability or where they feel like, you know, they can talk to me, where they may not be able to talk to their parents. So I'm all for that. I'm not gonna lead them wrong or I'm not gonna lead them wrong or give them unsolicited advice. I, I'm more of a listener. I know you guys may not understand that because I talk so much here, but that's because nobody listens to me. I'm always listening to somebody else. I need somebody to listen to me. That's why I'm here. Thank y'all for listening to me because I need that in my life. Ooh, always a listener. But yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway. Check out my Valentine's Day video if you like. Today I might vlog a little bit. If not, I still love you guys. I still appreciate you guys watching. Um, I really have become like a lazy natural. Like, yo, know, protective styling, is it saves my life. So I think I'm going to lean a little bit more towards uh, doing uh, informative videos on natural hair. Or demonstrative instead of always like doing tutorials with my hair because grandma I leave my hair long I ain't got time for all that anymore I'm I, I've been natural for five years now so it's like what else can you say about it I don't know you better sing that song girl I'm watching Bobby Jones gospel and let me tell y'all something I can't stand Bobby Jones. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord. But something about that man just gets under my skin. Like, and then when he started singing, I'm like, anybody ever told you that's not your ministry? But obviously, there's this platform for you. And obviously, I guess it is your ministry since you've been doing it for so long. But I don't like it. I just turn it on mute or turn the channel. But he has some nice people on. And I think it's actually officially over. They're just showing reruns now. Shoot, he's been on there for as long as I can remember. And yeah, I'm like, we could just suit that from Bobby Jones because I'm going to go to that place and burn it down. But I'm glad you're doing you. You know, y'all, this is all fun. I'm just kidding. Seriously, I feel like <laughs> walk in your truth, walking however you are comfortable. And yeah, you may get a couple of stairs because it's different. And I might be one of those giving you that stare, but it is what it is. Walk in that confidence and do you because I do me. And I know some people look at me and be like, girl, bye. I don't care. I don't care. Because I have one person that I am concerned with. And I'm not really concerned as far as my outer appearance when it comes to this one person. It's my inner appearance. So, bam on ya. Bam on ya. All right, I'm about to. What happened to my top? Excuse me, y'all. Over dramatic here. Over dramatic. Over dramatic. I'm tired, y'all. Actually, I got good sleep. How long I've been talking? About eight minutes. I guess I'll have to cut this out. But. All right, guys. I'm going to finish. I'm gonna finish putting on my bold red lip because that's how I'm feeling today. Bold and red and lip. And I holler at y'all. And I think my lips are not that crackalack today. I've been using this new stuff to condition them because it ain't nice. And I love my lipstick, so I gotta get it together. Crack is whack. All right, guys, I'll holler at y'all later. Mwah, smooches. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. And yeah, I'm taking y'all to the altar with me today. Whether you want it, or not. Deuces. <laughs> <sighs> What's up, y'all? We just leaving church. Hi. Hi. We at this slow, stupid bank. And then we want to get pizza because ain't nobody got time for that. Why are you leaning up I'm like that? I'm going to cook some beef. It's my dad gave us money. Gave me money. I whispered in his ear at church for pizza. You whispered in his ear? Speaking of whispering in the ears at church, so I think I was violated at church today. <laughs> Yo, I'm serious. 
Like, I felt, I really was about to leave. I know people probably said, what is wrong with her face? We up for altar call. And this man comes up. Well, I actually, he was already there. And we got in. And he, he leans back and takes my hand. Okay, so before I even start, this let me give me a hand. This was for altar call? Yeah, this altar This is what he was doing at first. And I'm like, okay, dude, for real? Okay. Then he starts swinging. Like, it was like a kid. Like, you know, kids cannot stand still. So I'm like, you're really disturbing my peace here. Then he goes like this. As my our hands are down, but he goes like this. As to throw my hands uh, open, my fingers open, so he can hold my hands like this and start swinging it. Yes, that's a violation. Okay. Okay. So I don't know him. Well, needless to say, I went back and poured out all of my hand sanitizer onto my hands, and I was just like, "I'm good. I'm just gonna pray from. I'm just gonna pray from back here." You got it all off. <laughs> all right, y'all. Again, we're just waiting for the bank because you would think we yeah. getting out five million dollars. We done sat here for about ten minutes. She got to count all we that big that, old money, Mary Kay, getting out. <sighs> all right, y'all. Deuces. Deuces. Going to get this piece and go to the house. Yeah. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. Cause Happy I ain't watching Super no Super Bowl. Sunday. I'm only gonna watch Free Yance when she come out, and then I'm gonna get some praise dance moves from her. Ooh. Stank a dang. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. Hey guys, what's up? It's after the Super Bowl. I'm home. I'm getting ready to get my clothes out for tomorrow. And I was like, wait, I ain't say goodnight to my peeps. So I wanted to say goodnight. And then, yeah, tomorrow is Monday. Motivational Monday at that. So I will see you guys in the vlog. Smooches. Mwah. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl. It is Monday, so y'all know what that is. I deem Monday as being Motivational Monday. And um, I just wanted to share with you guys. So yesterday, my pastor um, sermon was about visions, dreams, and nightmares. And it hit home in so many different ways. Um, basically because there's so many things that I'm moving towards and so many visions that I have. And it's so funny because confirmation came when I was reading up on visions, but I got a quote from Helen Keller, which if you guys don't know who she is, you can definitely Google her, but she was, she's blind. I can't remember if she was born blind, but she's um, very famous. And her quote states, the only thing worse than being blind is having no vision. Okay, the only thing worse than being blind is having no vision. So that was like profound and prolific all in itself. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. And my song for today um, has been heavy on my heart for about, ooh, since the day it came out, honestly. And it's called um, Happy or I Want to Be Happy. I, I don't know, but I'm going to link it below. And um, definitely the lyrics speaks volumes and it's a, a thing of excitement. Um, it's just an eye opener and it's things that we already know. Um, and the reason why I'm sharing so much with you guys or my journey with you guys is because you never know whose life it can affect or it can touch. You never know who you can reach on these platforms and I feel like I've been um, seeing other vloggers who are very inspirational as well and it's kind of like okay they're speaking to me or i can identify with them because i've gone through the same thing or i've been through the same thing so while i'm going through my tests and trials i'm going to share with you guys hoping that it will be able to uplift someone who may be going through the same or if you know someone who is that can be um a way for you to you know spread the love and uplift them as well so today I'm um, out of work. I'm getting ready to head to Walmart with your girl. Um, she has a couple of things to get and I think she's waiting for me. She just pulled up. I'm in my parents' backyard now. So I'm going to hop out and I guess hop into her truck because she's driving today. You don't know? All right, guys. I'll holler at you later. All right, guys, look who in the driver's seat. Yo, time to play. Y'all see, every time she, 
<laughs> Every time that sucker in the driver's seat, she got an attitude. I told her I'd drive. So she said, I'll drive back. You are driving. Me crazy. Oh, uh, okay. So. We're getting ready to have a discussion about this whole Beyonce and the Formation song in the Super Bowl. So, I'll let y'all know my thoughts on it later. I'm not, I mean, I like Beyonce, but I'm not one of those diehard Beehive fans or, oh my God, I'm praising her. Because she's a human being, you know? But we'll talk about it and I'm going to decode the video and all does. that stuff. Yeah, she does what she does. I can't see. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Put your head in it. You don't, are you freaking kidding me? You don't know, mom, move that out of my, move. What was that? My water. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> We're going to car here, so God. It's Monday. Make me sick. It's Monday? Me, yeah, it's Monday. Maybe Tuesday. Whatever, we got a mass rehearsal they called for tonight. We don't normally have yeah. it. And I have a mass headache. It's Monday. So we came from Walmart, and as soon as I got back here from Walmart, we ate, but my head is killing me now, so. What do we eat? You, you don't remember? I didn't say that. So then you tell them what you ate. Don't ask me like a question with a question. In your mouth. I, I, I was eating popcorn. Popcorn and peanut. Poppycock. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna eat the same dog one thing we had yesterday. Yeah, pizza. we had pizza. I didn't need to cook my beef yet. What kind of beef? Stew beef. Stew beef and rice. Uh, well, it's supposed to be getting snow Make tomorrow. So. Cornbread. I'll be cooking at home. What? I don't know. I, don't, I guess I have to take out chicken. If we get snowed in or snow and I don't come out because I don't have any food just ready to eat. So, yeah. I'm driving now. Okay. So, we just was telling y'all yeah. that. Look in the lens. Peace out. What lens? Peace. How many lenses do you see? <laughs> I don't see a lens. <laughs> oh. You look. I feel weird. You are weird. Weird is as weird does. And I got the bubble guts. All right, y'all. Let me go, cause uh, I'm Mary bouncing, Kate, bouncing, seat bouncing, and no seat belt. Uh. Got my Sorry, <laughs> my stomach, <laughs> my stomach hurt. Hang that thing up, hang it up like it's Peace. a Peace. What a pig. Hey guys, what's up? It's the end of the night. I'm home. I'm tired. I still have a slight headache. It was like I knew it was going to be a migraine because I do get migraines, and when I get them. It normally starts in my eyes, so like my vision gets blurry, or I see like these little dots in my. It's weird. It it's weird, or it's kind of like um not even blurry. I get um where it's blocked out a little bit. I don't know, but thank God I was able to catch it. Um, so I'm home, laying across the bed. This right here is my satin pillow for my hair. I also sleep with a satin bonnet though, but I'm just laying across it now. Uh, sometimes I get off up here with you guys and I'll say goodnight or whatever and I really don't go to sleep. Like I'm up doing things. So I gotta get in the habit of getting myself to sleep. I was doing good for a while, but let me tell y'all something. I try not to let people steal my joy. I try not to let my current situation, you know, derail me. Because I have so many things that I'm working on are my in in motion plans that are in motion, and it's like soon as you think you are through or over somebody or you're coping, you know they still lingering around. So it's kind of hard. Um, yeah. So um, it's oh sorry y'all. It's like the craziest thing is. <clears throat> Excuse me. We had, um, in my last relationship, my issue was, um, just quality time. Just, you know, being a priority. Um, those were the main things, you know. And it got to a point where they became a big part of the problem. Because it's like, 
you know, no one wants to be in a relationship and feel single. And that's what it was. So I'm like, I'm good. If I'm single, I'm I'm good. Like, you know, I know how to handle it. I know what to expect. But in a relationship, I have standards and you're not meeting them. So, and it's like now he don't know what to say to me, but he does not know how to just walk away. Like, now you don't know how to walk away. You walk away every time there's a problem and... You don't want to deal with it. Now you're calling me asking me what am I doing Saturday. Why? I'm like, I'm busy. Oh, okay. I said, why? What's going on Saturday? Now I was just trying to see what she was doing. You know, Valentine's Day, Sunday. I, I, I almost cussed y'all. Valentine's Day, Sunday. Boy, okay. Like, you didn't want to be in a relationship. You didn't want to spend time with me. And now that we're not together, you're doing more than you did when we, than when we were. I, I can't. I can't. I'm a creature of habit. I love consistency. So, I'm not even trying to go down that road. Like, he's not taking the steps to try to make it better to try to get back in a relationship with me no you're randomly calling me in the wee hours of the morning when you land in the bed by yourself because now you're lonely now you want somebody to cuddle with well cuddle these nuts i'm sorry y'all <laughs> i'm sorry i might have to edit that out <laughs> but i'm like boy you better cuddle your pillow something you better just get out of my face because too little too late you know when as women, or for me, if I say to you that I'm looking for quality time, I'm looking for, you know, people or a supportive person or someone who's up for trying new things, don't just knock something because you're not used to that. Don't call me bougie because you want to go somewhere with a coupon. I mean... I'm all for being frugal, but sometimes you got to step outside of that whole little comfortability. I make up words, y'all, because I don't even know what that means. But you got to step outside your comfort zone and do different things. Try new things. If this mess don't get up, boy. So, and I'm like, you know, take the initiative. Be a man in a relationship. Plan an, an evening, you know. Yeah, yeah, but anyway, I digress. I'm just saying, now you want to do all those things that you should have been doing. We're not together, you know. There are going to be multiple steps for you. So, you, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so funny how, I don't know if you guys ever been around your man, and they'll say something describing somebody else, and I'm like, fool, do you know you the same way? I'm like, how you going to talk about somebody and you can recognize it in them, but you don't see it in yourself? So, whatever. It is what it is. But, but all right, guys. Y'all see I'm dragging. And when I'm tired, I start rubbing stuff like I'm in my hair. And, child, when I rub my head, you better, you better believe I'm going to sleep. If somebody else rubs it, it's a wrap. It would be like saliva coming from here to here. But, thank you, guys. Oh, my dad's calling. Probably tried to call my house phone. He know I'll never have that on. What's up, yo? Did you call your dad? Yes, I did. You ain't my daddy. I called him and the machine came on. And I ain't called back. You I was busy. The machine came on? Yeah, it was his voice. And I, because I was talking junk, I was like, um. Oh, what? Well, maybe that's why you ain't had to why he always tell me what I should have done? He should have just called me back or called to see what was wrong. I called and the machine came up, so I just went this I went and did what I had to do. All right, good night. Tell my dad I know he missed me already. Yeah, please go on then. I'm getting in there. Mm-hmm. See y'all. Good night. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Play possum. <laughs> Mom. Huh? You saw D the other day? I saw who? These nuts. 
Ih, gue sih agak bodoh nih. Uh, ya. Let me tell y'all why that's so funny. Cause this fool, <laughs> we were watching um Stevie, Stevie and Jocelyn or something today, and he did that. To <laughs> My head hurt. He did that to his daughter, and I was like, what? dad does that or says that to his his daughter because he said you know d called and said she's coming over here and the daughter was like what he said d called and said she was coming over here she was like d who so that's when he said these nuts i mean it's really an old joke but it's really it really never gets old we me and her just laughed at that and she said that's something you'd say to me i'm like i guess you're right but i can't see my dad like if could I, could I see my dad saying that to me no and she fell for it. I'm going to hang up the phone. What a heifer. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm going to bed. When I'm tired, I'm going to bed. When I'm tired, I get really silly and disrespectful. <sighs> or belligerent. Is that is that the correct word? I don't know. I'll look it up. And, uh, yeah, and be blessed, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging in there with my crazy self. And, um, I'll holler at you guys tomorrow. Be blessed, most importantly, be a blessing. Mwah, smooches.